Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. The other day I got asked about consistency. We were talking specifically around when you have a goal or a desire, how do you go about being consistent in terms of trying to get it? So I thought I'd chat to you a little bit about that today. How do you get consistent and how do you stay consistent in trying to achieve what you want? Now, there is this quote that goes, um, when you want something, you need to be persistent, but when you want to keep it, you need to be consistent. And it all goes back to this idea of when you are trying to get something and you're trying to achieve something, you need to put your head down and go for it, right? And you may want it really badly, but once you get it, then what do you do? So for example, if you are trying to go to gym early in the morning, um, you have to be pretty persistent in setting your alarm early and hopefully one day it clicks and you get up with that alarm and you don't put on the snooze button. But then you have to be consistent in maintaining yourself and always getting up with the alarm. Consistency is the hardest part because it's the, the action that you take that you have to keep taking and it's about building a routine and building a habit. And it's not easy. Nobody says the good stuff comes easy, right? But I want you to think about it as if you're an athlete, a pro athlete, who's training for their season. When they are in pre-season, they are focused, they are determined, they are preparing. There is nothing that's going to hold them back from, from getting to where they want to be in season when they're actually competing, right? And off-season is when they can have all the excuses in the book and they don't have to follow the routine and they don't have to do what they usually do and eat the way they do and train the way they do. So I ask you to ask yourself, are you in pre-season or are you in off-season? Because if you're in off-season, you're gonna make all the excuses in the book. But if you want something bad enough, you need to get yourself into pre-season. So I have six steps for you. Let's get stuck into them. The very first step is what is it that you want? What is this one thing you're wanting to achieve or do or get or you dream about? Now, the next question you have to ask yourself with answering that is how badly do you want it? Because if you want it badly enough, you will do what is required. You'll get yourself into pre-season and you'll start working hard at it. It is the thing that will make you be happy to make a change. Because you're not going to get the thing that you want if you're not prepared to make a change and do what is required. So step one, what is it that you want? Step two is about why do you want it? Why do you want this thing so badly? Because when you know why you want it, it will help you make a, con a conscious decision to be persistent and, con and consistent. <laughs> These words. If you, if, you are, if you really, really, really want it and you really know why you want it, it makes it so much easier. Now, you may want a promotion because it will come with a salary increase and that means you can send your children to private school. That's your why. You may want um, to lose weight because you want to look amazing in your wedding dress in a few months. That's your why. It's not about losing weight. So you need to know what it is that you want and then why you want it. Because the why will drive your conscious decision to make that change you need to take. Step three is actually pretty easy, but you have to do it. Everybody thinks they don't have to, you have to. You have to commit to it. And the way to commit to it is that you need to write it down. Make it into a plan or a, an actionable to-do list or a vision board or a mind map. It doesn't matter how you do it, but make the commitment on paper. Get it out of what's in your head and down because that means you're committing to it and you have a plan and you have milestones and steps that you have to take. Step four is that you need to put reminders all over the show. So if you put post-its up on the dashboard in your car that remind you about what to think or how to feel about certain things or put little meetings into your diary of when you need to do certain things in order to achieve what it is that you want. It all depends on what you want is as to what the reminders need to be. But put them up and around because you will have some bad days and you need to be reminded what you're doing and why. And they're just nice little cues to keep you on track. Step five is to do one thing at a time. Don't try and do everything all in one step and in one go and in one day. You will fail and when you fail, 
you will set yourself back even more and you won't even begin to try again. So do small steps, small things and get there. Slowly, slowly, slowly wins the race, right? <laughs> well, and pro athlete probably wouldn't agree with me. But if you take small steps and you do one thing at a time, you will achieve it. And that will feel like you're accomplishing this. Which leads me to step six, which is once you accomplish certain things, set rewards for yourself. You don't have to do it at every single step, but do, do it as you go along. Say after this certain step, I'm going to reward myself with a massage or whatever it is. Don't try and set yourself back. Like if you're trying to lose weight, don't reward yourself with chocolate. But set some rewards for yourself because it also keeps you going and it keeps you on track and it keeps you going towards the next reward. And that's a really, really important issue is to be proud of what you're achieving as you go along. Because consistency leads to habits. Habits create actions that you take every single day and actions lead to success. And that is why consistency is the key to success. So I hope those help you. If you haven't hit subscribe, please hit subscribe now below. Um, give me a like if you thought this was helpful. Otherwise, I'll see you next week. Bye.